This video is going to explain the FinSum report. You'll notice in my example, the Drama Club Advisor has access to a FinSum. So when I click on this link, it's going to display the FinSum report in PDF format. What a FinSum is, is a, is a summarized report of the cash accounts that you have access to. So how to read the FinSum is you're going to read it left to right. So obviously the first thing you're going to see is the cash account and its description, Drama Fund. And then underneath that, it's going to, the first column is going to show you the beginning balance of that account. So at the beginning of the fiscal year, which is July 1st, the account had $16,229.12. The next two columns is going to record the receipt amounts. So the first one you see is the month-to-date receipt. So this is how much money has been receipted into this account for the current month of April. The next one is the fiscal year to date receipt. This is going to record how much money has been receded into this account since the beginning of the fiscal year, since July 1st. The next two columns is going to explain the expended amounts. What has been expended out of this account for the current month is going to be under the month to date expenditures. And then what has been expended so far this fiscal year is going to be recorded under the fiscal year to date expenditures. Your current fund balance calculation comes from your beginning balance plus what's been receded in this fiscal year so far minus what has been expended so far this fiscal year to give you your current fund balance. Also recorded is encumbered amounts. If you have any outstanding purchase orders, meaning POs, that haven't been completely paid yet, the outstanding PO amounts will be tracked under this encumbrance column. And you can include current month encumbrances as well as future month encumbrances. So your remaining fund balance is another calculated field, which is taking your current fund balance minus any encumbrances to give you your available remaining balance. So this amount reflects what available cash is truly left in your account. Also included at the end of the report, if you have access to several cash accounts, you're going to see a grand total line as well. 